Over Thanksgiving break, my family took a trip to a small town in southwestern Colorado named Pagosa Springs. Pagosa Springs is home to one of America's finest hot springs, Treacherous Mountain Passes, and is also home to a company called Pagosa Dog Sled. I met up with Ashley Thamer and Morgan Buckingham to learn more about their company and their experiences. When you think of dog sledding, the first thing that comes to mind is snow. However, during my trip, there seemed to be a lack of it. However, the lack of snow isn't enough to hold these dogs back. They mesh away, day or night, warm or cold, sled or golf cart. Yeah. You heard me right, golf cart. These Alaskan Malmuts pulled my family around on a golf cart the entire time. These are truly amazing dogs. But how does one come into a career like this? Um, I've been interested in dog sledding since I was about five years old. I saw a picture in a book somewhere and I just thought it was the coolest thing I've ever seen. And so I've, I had always thought about it all the time until I turned about 14 and then I was finally able to start working with sled dogs. Um, and I first mushed a team when I was 19, so it was quite a bit later in life. And the first time I ever saw a team run, I fell in love with it. And I've been um, working for touring companies and did a little racing, um, but it, you kind of get hooked. My favorite part is watching a dog that doesn't know what's going on and is completely new to mushing become something really incredible and experienced and even a lead dog or um, and just growing with the dog and becoming attached to it. My favorite part of this job is educating people about dog sledding, is showing them what it's all about and that the dogs actually really enjoy what they do. Uh, so kind of spreading the word that dog sledding is, is awesome. These Alaskan Malmets are loved by their owners. These types of dogs have been with the company for 30 years and are raised by their owners personally. They are capable of pulling large amounts of weight and can endure cold environments, making them a perfect fit for Pagosa dog sledding. Seeing as how mushing is a rather unconventional and uncommon profession, especially here in Texas, I was rather curious about their experiences in the mushing profession. <laughs> one of my favorite stories, I like to tell this one a lot on, on tours because it's how things can go wrong on a trip. We, uh, it was towards the end of the season and we had not quite enough snow to go sledding with, but a little more than we'd like with the cart. And so the trails were really slushy and muddy. And the first mile looked like it was going to be pretty dry and so we hooked up the team to the cart and it was myself and another guide, Amber, and then we had this old couple and they were probably in their 70s and so we were going along and we get them situated and we get about two miles into our run and there is a, a big S turn that goes up kind of the side of a cliff and so we get to it and this part of the trail is always in the shade and there's like a foot and a half of snow on it and we can't turn around and so we have to go up it and so we start going up up the S turn and we get to the spot where where it literally does a U-turn in the trail and so we have to stop the team and to get around it you have to get the team going pretty fast uh, but the cart doesn't handle well in, in a foot and a half of snow and so we wait we wait for about 20 minutes just to kind of get the dogs pumped and get them going and then we start going around the, the turn and the cart slides down into the ravine with all of us on it. <laughs> Luckily, it wasn't too deep of a ravine, but we had to get everybody out. So I get this old couple up back on the trail, and Amber and I are digging the cart out, and the dogs had to, because the cart's like this, and the team is back on the trail. And so in order to get the cart out, we had to get the dogs up the mountain. So they were pulling up to get the cart back up onto the trail. <laughs> And so we get the team up and they're pulling up this steep cliff, pulling this cart all the way up and they're working really, really hard. And this old couple is like trying to help us and I had to keep putting them back on the trail. And we had to cut through brambles and it was a big, big kind of mess. But we, they did it. They, they pulled it all the way back up onto the trail and then we, we went and on our way. 
one of the best stories I have about dog sledding um, was all about the dogs and I was training uh, to race a longer race and we had done a 70 mile training run and at the end of the run we had about five more miles left to go and the dogs were very tired and it was a moonlit night and I shut off my headlamp and all of a sudden the dogs had this surge of, of power and teamwork and it was um, humbling, I, I guess. So if you ever find yourself in Pagosa Springs, Colorado, make sure you drop by Pagosa Dog Sled Company. It's an experience you'll never forget.